Okay, guys, now we're going to move on to three fourths. So now, remember, our bottom number is our denominator, denominator, and our top number is our numerator. So for our picture model, I know that I need to make my rectangle, or you can do a circle, or a different shape. Um, let's do a circle instead. So you guys can see. Same thing. So this is my model. And I'm going to divide it into four equal pieces because that's what my denominator is. Because my denominator is four, so that's the total of number of pieces I have. Equal pieces. So now, I have a total of four pieces. But out of these four pieces, I'm only using or only have three. So I'm going to come in and shade in three of these pieces. So now, and I'm going to do it again with the rectangle, same thing, four pieces. And I'm only using three, or I only have three out of the four. So I'm only going to shade in three. So both of these models represent three fourths. So both of these models represent three fourths. I'm only shaded, I've only shaded in three out of the four pieces in both of these models. Now, in a number line, whoops, I have my zero and I have my one whole. Now, we just went over two fourths and we know that two fourths is the same thing as one half. So I'm going to go ahead and write one half there, but just know that it's the same thing as two fourths, okay? I have my one fourth. And now, if I have one fourth, two fourths, my next number or fraction in the number line is three fourths. So how many jumps do I have to make in order to get to three fourths? Let's see. One, two, three. Three jumps. Can you see how in both the models and in the number lines, as we're increasing, as our numerator increases, we're getting closer and closer to our one whole. Okay, that's just a little observation I wanted you guys to see. So now, for our decimal form. So I told you guys to think about quarters, right? So now, you don't have one or two quarters. You have three out of the four quarters you need to make a dollar. So if you have three quarters, how much money do you have in total? If you have three out of the four quarters, how much money do you have in total? Seventy-five cents or seventy-five hundredths. Okay, so three fourths in decimal form is seventy-five hundredths. Just think of go back to thinking about quarters, guys. Okay, if you have an additional quarter, you have three quarters now. That means that you have seventy-five cents or seventy-five hundredths. Okay, now. Last but not least, we have 4 over 4. So now, I have 4 as my denominator, but I also have 4 as my numerator. So in my picture model, I'm going to do both the circle and the, and the rectangle. I have my circle. I divide it into 4 equal pieces, or kind of equal. Like I said, guys, I just pretend they're equal, okay? <laughs> All righty. And then in my rectangle, I also have my four equal pieces. Now, I, I divided them into four pieces because my denominator is four. 
But now my numerator is also 4. So that means that I'm using or I have all of the pieces in my model. So I'm going to shade in all of them. So now I've shaded 4 out of the 4 pieces in each model. But what observation can you make? After shading in, shading in the four pieces on both models, I shaded in all of the pieces. So that means that I shaded one complete hole here and one complete hole here. So both of these models represent four out of four or this is one hole. And this is also one hole. Now, that means that one fourth is the same thing as one. And another way that we can see this is by dividing, guys. Because fractions, you can simplify them or you can turn an improper fraction into a mixed number by dividing. But in this case, I'm going to divide in order for you to see how 4 over 4 equals 1 whole. So if I have 4 as my total number of pieces that I have, and 4 as my pieces that I have in one model, how many times can I take 4 pieces out of 4? Well, only one. Because 1 times 4 gives me 4, and if I subtract, that gives me 0 as a remainder. So 4 over 4, guys, is the same thing as 1 whole. So I'm going to write here equals to whoops, 1 whole. As we see when we divided it, or as we see as when we shaded in our models. We shaded in the whole piece. So now in a number line, let's see. We have our zero and our one whole. We know in the middle we have our one half or two fourths. Our first jump is to the one fourth. Our third jump is to three fourths. Our last jump is to four over four or one. So now, how many jumps do I make to get to 4 over 4 or 1 whole? Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4. I made 4 jumps to get to my 1 whole. I shaded in 4 pieces in order to complete 1 whole. Here I did the same thing. I shaded in four pieces to get one whole. Now, in decimal form, if you have four out of the four quarters that you need in order to make a dollar, that means that you already have your one whole.